Well, as you know, at The History Freak, we've done several episodes on the Great War, the First World War. Now, my specialty tends to be British, French, and some U.S. militaria, but I can't collect everything. So I'd like to get more involved in the German militaria of the Kaiser's army. Now, here we have today a very special guest. Brenton is going to be showcasing a family heirloom an 1895 Prussian NCO's Pickelhaube helmet. It's going to be very exciting, so stay tuned for this exciting relic of the past. Hello, I'm Brenton. Thank you for joining us here at the History Freak. Uh, going ahead and going to display the model 1895 Pickelhaube that I do have here. Um, this is a all-original Pickelhaube. This was used during the First World War. From my understanding, it's about 106 years old. Um, made out of all original cowhide and brass, including the era paint on both sides, as well as the markings for the Prussian NCO officer's uh, plate on the front as well. Pickelhaube became a visual symbol of Prussia's military might and underwent numerous modifications starting in 1860 and continuing right up until about 1915. Um, the demise of this Pickelhaube was kind of increased as a result of head wounds suffer suffered by a lot of the German troops during the war, uh, mainly because this didn't do well protecting against shell fragments and on top this leather kind of armor didn't really do well against other kind of projectiles coming into the um, soldier's head. Um, in November, December 15, the acceptable pattern that this was approved for um, was kind of discontinued in favor of the Stahlhelm, which most people know of kind of as World War I and World War II. Moving forward, we're going to move to the chin strap area. This is a very, very, very cool thing to still have intact for this helmet. Um, these are often, often broken or re repaired. The front plate here is for the Prussian NCOs who are issued this helmet. You'll see here that it reads uh, Mit Gott für König und Vaterland, which means for God, King and Country. Um, something very much repeated a lot of the times of the mantra in the Kaiser's army. The brass tip here is also very typical of this Pickelhaube. When you get to the higher ranks in the Prussian military or the German army at that time, you'll see these will get a little bit higher and sometimes have an eagle or an animal represented on top. The back spine here, the spinna, is still in very good shape and not bent. Um, these are some things that are very difficult to find sometimes in, in pickle halbas that are put together that are this old. Um, the last two points here, we're going to denote the cockades on the helmet. These are on, on both sides. This one has the original paint. And this is the black, white, and red, which the, the national colors of the German Empire at that time. On the other side, you will see the German officer's point of origin and his state. Um, this one will be Prussia, which is typically white and black. Um, for the Bavarian officers, you will see blue and white, or for the Saxon ones, you will see yellow and black. Thank you for taking a look at this pickle hobo and joining us on the History Freak. It's been a pleasure to join Jason on his channel. And please stay tuned as I do have some other pieces of German military that would be worth sharing with you as well. Thank you. Well, I want to thank you, Brenton, for showcasing this incredible heirloom of the Great War. Um, this pickle halba is uh, very unique and uh, they are becoming rarer and scarcer as time goes by. To, so, so to have it preserved in this manner is quite exquisite and we really appreciate you being on the History Freak and we'd love to have you back. And as I always say, stay in the past.